What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John and I do fashion content here on YouTube. And for today's video, I went shopping at Zara. Zara is having their biannual sale so you guys know I had to check them out. Then a few days later, I went to my favorite Sunday market which is the Sitcore Sunday market. I grabbed some few things there. The next day, I went to Pampanga. I spent the night over there and i went to visit a coffee shop I also i went thrifting you guys know i have to go thrifting when i go to the province because it's more to the game prices there so i got a few things and yeah at the end of the video we will be doing a collective haul all the things i got from zara the sunday market and the ukai and pampan so let's go Our only agenda here at Trinoma is to shop at Zara actually kasi by annual sale na nila. And can I just say, sobrang ganda ng Zara man in Trinoma. I think it's newly renovated. We found this Uniqlo dumpling bag, do pero leather version and bigger. Saw a lot of derbies. This one is like a square toe and maraming boots rent and loafers. So if you guys are looking for one, meron sa Zara in sale. I was looking for denim pants but they didn't have the fit that I like and let's do a quick fit check with my brother. Look at this cute knit shorts but I didn't like the colorway so pass. To be honest, they have a better selection than the Rockwell branch. Then I saw this suede cage sandals and put it along my size ko, so I'll try it later. Marami silang knit polos and knit vests so if you like that, go check Zara. I regret not getting this body inspired shorts. Sobrang cute talaga, sobrang sayang. This is a knit shorts, medyo okay lang pero I found this green version. I really like this one so I'll try this too. Sobrang rami na lang body inspired shirts so if you like body, Zara has a lot of dupes. Then I saw this white leather crossbody. Actually, matagal ko na siyang inaay. Like, di pa siya sale. Pero sobrang mahal pa rin. If you guys are looking for George, sobrang rami sa Zara. They have a lot of different washes. Okay, I went to the fitting room and let's try on the things that I like. I will be trying on four items, the sandals, two shorts, and one trousers. And let's see which one I will pick. First up is this balloon fit trousers in navy. I actually saw this sa app and sa Trinoma lang meron. So I went here specifically for this item so I can try it on. And sobrang gusto ko to. It's actually 2,295. That's why I'm hesitating. Because the price is still high despite it being sale. Next item is the screen knit print shorts and sobrang cute. I fell in love when I tried it on. It fits me perfectly kahit medium. And sobrang ganda ng suede cage sandals. As in, this one, kailangan ko talaga hunin. As in, super cute tong dalawa. Actually, sobrang bagay yung both items with the shirt I was wearing that day. Last item I tried on was this yellow and brown knit shorts. Actually, may matching tank top to pero wala here sa Trinoma. Pero the shorts was size large and look sobrang lucky. Okay, but I really wanted these shorts, pero too big. And I said to myself, I'll just get two items and these are the two that I will be getting. I don't know why nakaslow mo tong clip na to, but I'll just go back a few weeks later when they drop their prices. We decided to go to Virtus North. Actually, katabi lang naman siya ng Trinoma. And we decided to eat there na lang. We ate at Pancake House. After eating, I wanted to check Uniqlo out. Kasi sobrang raming budol sa TikTok. I wanted to see the items in person if maganda talaga. And the first thing I saw was the trending sweat cardigan. They have a lot of colors. They have camel and this blue one. Meron din silang black and pink. Parang black pink lang my favorite. But... Pinaka gusto kong color was the pink one. But for me, it's a bit too long for my liking. If I would get one, I would crop it myself or bring it to the tailor. Then I saw this cargo pants and I think I might get one in the future. Who knows? But I really love the beige colorway. Siyempre, before leaving, we have to take pics for the gram. And the inspo for this outfit was the shorts, the yellow, and the greens. As per usual, I went to the Sunday market. I actually just reused my clips from last week because I didn't get to film a lot but I got two things only. 
Guys, di ko rin alam, but I gave in to the hype and got my first Sony Angel. I got this hopper at, I think. It's the one you place a phone case mo. And I really wanted the cherry one, the strawberry one, or the eggplant. That was the top three. I've seen a lot of TikToks and shake nila before opening. I don't know the reason why, pero ginawa ko pa rin. So I'm really excited about it. I get the thrill of not knowing what you will get. And this is the one I got. I got the tomato one and super cute. And I actually placed it sa phone ko na agad when I opened it. It's kasi sobrang cute talaga. In the same store, I also got this Tanjiro figurine and it's just very timely because Demon Slayer Season 3 just ended. Kalo ko talaga mas malaki ulo. Kalo ko like bubble head vibes pero hindi pala but it's still cute but yeah I expected more. Last thing I got is this Italian bracelet. Puro yin yang naman yung charms but yeah it's very trendy right now. On the way to Angeles, Pampanga, we actually live in Lubao, so we're gonna travel for one hour. But first, you guys know coffee. We visited Siglo Poblacion. I know this is David Kieson's favorite, as in palagi ko siya nakikita sa Instagram stories niya at YouTube videos. I got the sea salt latte and it was really good, 10 out of 10. There were a lot of people so I had to take my fit pics outside and this is the vibe for today, very rustic and yeah. Then we headed to the shopping center beside Nepo Mall. Actually visited last time but it was closed but now we saw the stores open and sobrang ramming stores as in sobra. We stumbled upon this store that sells very random stuff but we saw this like military clothing like mga cargo pants, hats, and bags and dati na namin gusto ng brother ko ng cargo pants na camo and yung cargo pants may matching hats rin so we were deciding what we wanted Ito yung mga one of my brother's choices, yung black and gray na digital camo. And this one is what I wanted. Very classic lang, very very different. Ito din yung isang pinagpipilian ng brother ko, yung blue version ng digital one. Actually, we were supposed to buy it but we forgot to go back. So yeah, we left. Then we found belts here. I think it's just 100 pesos so we got two. Okay, syempre, bago mo we, dadaan muna kami sa ukay. Actually, kailangan namin mabilis kasi kailangan para namin daanan yung mom namin sa grocery after. So yeah, mabilisan lang na ukay. It's actually sale. It was only 15 pesos each and grabe, binilisan lang namin as in we, I was speeding through the racks kasi sobrang pili na rin and may nakita naman kami but yeah, we got some pretty good finds and I'll just make a haul. It's the next day and we woke up early just to go to the Ukay again. This is actually the second store. Magkatabi lang sila and this store is new arrivals. I found this New Balance 880 but I'm not familiar with that model. Then beside it was another New Balance but this time it is actually a 990 V5. I'm not sure if it's original but yeah, it's a really good color. And alam nyo na guys, I love blowcore so palagi ako nakakakita ng jerseys and this is just a random clip of me browsing. And I saw this Timberland boots and I'm sad because it's half size too small pero sobrang good condition pa talaga nyo and ganda talaga ng quality. Then we found this Saucony sneakers. Actually, maganda sana pero may sepsol na siya. 
Then we found this true religion jeans and when we saw the fit, it's actually super skinny kaya pas na kami. Sana biblin for my brother's girlfriend. Then my brother found this cowboy boots but it's in a pretty bad shape already so nagpas kami. I swear guys, thrifting in the province is top tier as in sobrang raming racks and sobrang mura ng pricing compared to Manila. The bags weren't hitting today sadly and kahit yung mga jackets on display wasn't really that good. Okay, let us check check our picks. First up is this dusty pink jacket. Sayang pero marami siyang stains so nagpas kami dyan. Next I found this brown corduroy pants and it's from the brand Crocodile and super ganda we got this actually. It's perfect for like vintage fits. Next item I found was this yellow camo pants. Actually, I regret not getting this but yeah, super cute. As in, very rare yung yellow na camo pants as in, this is the first time I saw one. And super regret I didn't get this. Baha, when I go back, I can still see it. Next, I got this yellow shorts and wala, I really love the color. That's why I got this one and wala, I don't know this brand guys. So comment na lang down below what brand that is. This one is actually my brother's. It's this Umbro mesh tank top and wala, I feel like he's just gonna layer it and super cute, very bloke card and new vibes niya. And guys, look, I found this Houston Rockets jersey. And if you don't know, I'm not really a basketball fan, but before I was a Houston Rockets fan. Okay, next is this Gap hoodie and this reminds me of Kanye's hoodie or like the brown hoodie na Gap na very uso. So yun. We didn't get this Kappa zip up hoodie. It's like velour but yeah, we passed on it because it was actually small. Guys, you know naman my love for Harrington jacket and this one was the perfect brown and sobrang ganda ng tela as in very lightweight, para siyang windbreaker pero better. Ito talaga yung pinaka favorite ko this haul. It's this D squared military color block jacket as in a designer piece sa ukay-ukay and it's only for 180 pesos. And syempre finite ko and tingnan mo naman tong kapatid ko zinumin sa mukha ko. Then I found this cargo vest for my brother's girlfriend, super cute. This one is a very unique polo button down and parang siyang nylon or like windbreaker material. Basta kakaiba and I love the embroidery. The next few items are jerseys. First up is this Adidas one and really cute yung red and I don't know why I did not get this one. The next jersey is a Nike one. I really love the blue and red stripes, vertical ones. And di ko din alam kung bakit di ko to kinuha. Done shopping and this is everything that we got. And I made sure to browse through again to see if may nalagpasan kami. And meron nga, it's this Salomon XT6. Actually very cute pero in bad shape na talaga siya. So pass. Siyempre mandatory shot before leaving. Kailangan talaga to every time mag-uukay ako. And then we met up with my mom and Shempre, she had to shop then and she went to the store we went to yesterday ngayon 10 pesos na yung sale we went home na after and I decided to get my Instagram shot first of my outfit for the day Shempre, di pwede yan malagpasan I'm actually already wearing the things that I got from Zara, the green knit print shorts, as well as the suede cage sandals and guys, nag laundry na rin kami kasi sobrang excited na kami suotin Okay, let's start with the collective haul. So, I will begin with the things I got from Zara. Actually, the first item, I'm already wearing it. It's this green knit print short. It has the colors green, orange, and off-white. And super cute lang talaga ng print. I got this for 1,600 pesos. Actually, I got it kasi only piece na lang siya. I was deciding if I was gonna get the blue trousers or this but the blue trousers I saw sa website marami pa siyang stock and I feel like mababa pa yung price but for this shorts only piece na lang siya and di ko na siya nakikita sa website or the app so I knew I had to get it it's a great statement piece and yeah I got that for 1,600 pesos the next thing I got from Zara are these aged sandals. Actually, went through a phase that I only wore sandals. As in, sober rami kong sandals outside. I have a different shoe rack for my sandals. So, sober rami. And yeah, I got this suede cage sandals. It's like very brownish. 
Yeah, sobrang ganda ng quality nito. Sin so maganda yung suede. And oddly enough, it is very comfortable. As in, there's cushioning dito sa sole. So, super cute. This was originally priced at 2,995 pesos, but I got this for 1,995. I've been seeing a lot of brands doing like cage sandals or like cage loafers, and sobrang sakto lang na sale to, so I got it na, cause it is a good deal. The next few items are items I got from Angeles Pampanga. We went there for a day trip. Pumunta lang kami to visit a cafe and to buy some stuff. And we went to visit Nepo Mall. Actually, not Nepo Mall. Parang may shopping center beside it. Like random shops. And me and my brother were looking for belts. And we found this store na may stand outside na may mga belts. And we got two pieces. One black and yung isa parang beige goldish. Parang siyang goldish beige. Yeah. We got this for 100 pesos each. So 200 pesos. And actually very long. I feel like we're just gonna cut it and then burn it. So mag-seal yung ends para hindi siya mag-scatter. And yeah, actually it's just very simple. For 100 pesos, okay na siya. This is not metal actually. It's just plastic. And very hard plastic naman. So, and it just has like flames. Like embossed flames. Yeah, super cute. And for 100 pesos, okay na yan. As in maganda na. And here's the brown, special beige, golden beige, something like that. Same brand with the black. It has some flame details lang na na embossed. And again, I feel like we're just gonna cut it because it's super long siya and then burn it to seal. And yeah, super cute. 100 pesos each. That's everything we got sa Angeles because we stay at Lubao talaga. Lubao, Pampanga. Okay, the last few items are the items I got from the Ukay Ukay. And we actually stay at Lubao, pero pumupunta kami sa Gua, Gua to go to the market, to make ukay ukays. May ukay ukay doon na famous and marami nagko-comment sa TikTok ko and sa YouTube video that they know that place. I feel like it's famous na pala sa Pampanga. And it's called Gilangko. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right or if it's right. But yeah, it's Gilangko and you guys saw it na. And I got a few pieces. The first few items, we got it from the store na sale. Kasi dalawa yung store doon. And the f they're both owned by the same person daw. We asked the the employees. Like, same lang yung owner but different. So, pag new arrivals yung isang store, yung isang store naman sale. So, doon muna kami sa isang store. We went there night time. So, mabilisan lang. But, it was 15 pesos on everything. So, the first thing I got was this knit mesh or like open or loose knit tank top and guys very uso talaga to especially summertime pero i love this for like layering pieces like i have a off white or white version of this one sa uhay ko lang din nakuha but if you guys know sa zara mga 1000 plus to and i got this for 15 pesos and yeah, sobrang ganda to as a layering piece. I can layer a white shirt under para maganda yung contrast. Or this could be the first layer and layer over a button down or a jacket. It adds a good texture talaga sa outfit or any added detail para hindi boring. And yeah, 15 pesos guys, sobrang ganda. The next thing I got from the 15 peso pile or like do sa store was this Para siyang tapestry or like rug like vest. Actually, may hood siya, pero tinanggal ko kasi di cute yung hood. Pero guys, sobrang ganda. Para siyang tapestry or like a rug. It's super cute. And maganda din yung ribbing sa sleeves. And yeah, for 15 pesos, guys. Sobrang wala. Sobrang steel talaga na to. 15 pesos. My god. Just fell in love when I found this. And 15 pesos. 15. Okay, the next day we went back to the Gilangko or the Saguago na Ukay Ukay. And we went to the other store. Yung other store naman, new arrivals sila. Pero yung new arrivals price nila, very decent. Hindi kagaya here sa Manila. Mas mura talaga to. And the first thing I got there was this yellow shorts. It's actually from CEO Moda. I'm not sure with 
what brand that is. Pero nakikita ko to siya sa mga thrift stores online sa IG. And actually, I got it because wala hong color yellow na shorts. And this was a longer short. So, I love longer shorts. And yeah. And super cute talaga yung detail here sa right leg. I just love the extra pocket and this parang tag. And wala. Parang may referee lang there. And wala. I just love the color. Parang hindi siya bright yellow. Parang siyang mustard yellow na muted. Not sure what color this is. I'm not good with colors but yeah. I feel like that's how I would describe it. I got this for 150 pesos. New arrival siya, pero very decent yung pricing ng new arrivals there. Next thing I got was this blue cap hoodie. And when I saw this, naalala ko agad si Kanye. Kanye had a collab with Gap and yung famous colorway na brown. And people would buy the Gap hoodie na brown lang as a dupe or alternative. And yun yung naalala ko here. And voila, this is actually from the kids section. It's extra extra large sa kids, which is ages 14 to 16. And yeah, kasha pa rin sa akin because I'm really small. It's sakto lang yung fit sa akin. It's not long like the usual hoodies. And yeah. And I don't have a blue hoodie, so that's a plus. And yeah, I just got it because it's really cute long. And this is a hoodie that I could repeat a million times. My last item I got is my absolute favorite from this haul. And when it comes to designer pieces while thrifting, I'm not very lucky as in very rarely lang talaga ako nakakita. And if nakakita ko, it's not my size, so I have to let it go. Parang the first designer piece I found was the last time I went to Pampanga, same store, I found a Ferragamo bag. I feel like that was my first, if I'm not mistaken, and super lucky. I feel like sobrang lucky sa Pampanga because I found my second one. And wala guys, I feel like sa province talaga yung mga magaganda yung ubay. And guys, I found this D-squared military color block jacket. As in, grabe. D-squared is like a Europe-based brand. I think it's made in Italy. It's by Dean and Dan. That's why it's D-squared if I'm not mistaken. And here, D-squared shine. Grabe guys, sobrang ganda ng... Okay, without looking at the brand, I really love the design. It's actually a yung silhouette niya very military esque, and yeah, it's a longer one and super cute talaga ng color blocking. I love the green, the khaki green, with the darker green if I'm not mistaken or near to black na siya. And meron din siyang beige so actually I'll just try it on so you can see it. And yeah. This is my second designer piece that I found in the Uke and I'm so happy with it. And usually the jackets of D squared retails from $800 to $1,000 up. So me finding it for $180 pesos, $2, I $4 if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I will keep this and cherish this because this is like the first designer clothing piece talaga. Last time was a bag and yeah. Guys, a tip, go to the provinces talaga pag mag -ukay. And andun talaga yung mga steels, designer pieces. Especially designer pieces na hindi masyadong kilala. Like T-squared. And yeah, super cute. This is my absolute favorite. And that is everything that I got recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this shopping vlog and this Ukay Ukay trip. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.